the mirror spits you out as a skeleton. It has taught all the memories of you scrubbing the stain of sin lovers left on your skin refusing to diffuse in all the apologies you whispered to God. The splinters you counted off your skin as love me notes, the peeling, the trying to crawl out of your own skin, the mirror does not know how not to mist from the weight of shame beneath your breath. When you cannot look yourself in the mirror, where do you go? You have tried everything to hide the paper cuts your pocket Bible made on your wrists growing into scabs and cuffing you from raising your hands in worship. So, you do not raise your hands to shield yourself from scriptures the priest converts into bullets. You collect gunshot wounds at sermons, sing the loudest to divert the gaze while witnessing God erupting out of Leviticus as lover. You burn your fingertips searching for your own interpretation. But the gospel is not a sword you have to hold tight by the sharpest end even when you bleed. Where do you run to? Your father's condemnation is a hammer hitting your pelvic bones into alignment. Your hips are blasphemous in how they sway in his house, as if they gather all the unwanted spirits and dust into a windwell, as if your mother swallows all the dust from the war religion makes with the love she has for you. There is a congestion of prayers on your mother's throat. She struggles to swallow her pills now. She's always bleeding from rapturing your ribs with her bare hands trying to make Eve out of them. Your father recreates you in the image of his own expectations. Where do you run to, weary and burdened? The streets have every corner as a vacant tombstone. There's a shuffle of your names as hashtags. Everyone's teeth are clenched into coffins waiting to bury you. They make a sandpaper out of scriptures to sharpen their teeth for your slaughter. They cast stones on people like you. So, where do you go for home?